भोले वृंदावन श्री कृष्ण चंद्र की जय देवोतीज विल जॉइन पर उमेश इन सिंपल भजन ऑफ द विच विल फॉलो विद ओवर दिस कोर्स हे प्रभु ज्ञान हम को दीजिए शीघ्र सारे दूर गुणों को दूर हमसे कीजिए हे प्रभु ज्ञान हम को दीजिए शीघ्र सारे दूर को दूर हमसे कीजिए हे प्रभु आनंद लीजिए हमको शरण में हम सदाचारी बने लीजिए हमको शरण में हम सदाचारी बने शांति चाहत धर्म रच वीर व्रत धारी बने शांति चाहत धर्म रक्षक वीर व्रत धारी बने हे प्रभु आनंद प्रेम से हम गुरु जनों के निच ही सेवा करें प्रेम से हम गुरु जनों के निच ही सेवा करें सत बोले झूत प्यारे मेह पस ले करे सत बोले झूत प्यारे पस ले करे हे प्रभु आनंद निंदा किसे की हम किसी से भूल कर भी ना करे निंद किसी की हम किसी से भूल कर भी ना करे देव जीवन हो हमारा तेरे यश ज्ञान हम को दीजिए शीघ्र सारे भूल को दूर हम से कीजिए 
हे प्रभु आनंदा हे प्रभु आनंदा हे प्रभु भजुगोविंद जय गोपाल भजुगोविंद जय गोपाल भजुगोविंद जय गोपाल भजु मुरली मनोहर नंदलाल भजु मुरली मनोहर नंदलाल भजु जो मुरली मनोहर नंदलाल भजो मुरली मनोहर नंदलाल भजो मुरली मनोहर जुगोविंद जय गोपाल भजुगोविंद जय गोपाल जय गोपाल जय नंद जय ब्रिज पहल जय गोल वृंदावन श्री कृष्ण चंद्र की जय वो दिस मैन इज ग्रेस बाई नीचर मैन अंडरस्टैंड रिलेशनशिप्स मैन thrives on relationships man depends on relationships no man is an island we are accustomed to relationships of parents friends siblings consorts not so much as enemy we don't like to have enemies now time and again we realize as we go through the corridors of life some of these relationships can be quite genuine others not so genuine others non existent yet we depend on relationships many would have expressed a lot of disappointment in certain relationships so even though we depend on relationships they are so very important in our lives yet you will still find time and again that the very same relationships counterproductive they work opposite now as i've been trying to put you if we can internalize and tap into various qualities that there exist life will be on a more solid foundation chanak maharaj 
he has put to us this wonderful saying satyam mata pita gyanam dharmo bhrata daya sakha shanti patni chama putro khadeti mam bandhava he has identified six relationships mother father brother friend one's consort one son now it is not that we don't pay attention to sisters or to daughters but in most cases sisters go on to join other lineage to go on with that lineage so to our daughters not that they forget us or we forget them but these are the main relationships that chanak maharaj has looked at so he is saying satyam mata truth is like one's mother now we will take it in the other way also that mother is truth whatever that satyam is now my mother may not live forever but my truth should live forever and once i maintain that truth mother is with me satyam mata what is truth simply put truth is that which is no compromises no watering down no different levels of the truth no coloring of the truth truth is that which is if i maintain that truth mother is with me and uh, if we take the words of the upanishads matru deva bhava mother is god then truth is god and whatever that god means to us mother means to us likewise and if more so the truth so one should at all times try to maintain that truth satyam mata so even if mother goes on as she will definitely one day that satyam must be with us at all times don't compromise it pita gyanam father is said to be the form of wisdom he is supposed to be so gyan is a father in my life if satyam is mother gyan is father and uh, we have emphasized time and again the importance of gyan to put it in a simple way ramayan says that dharma te virati yoga te gyana gyan na moksha prad virva khana is important to pay attention to this statement for it will come in again dharma te virati out of dharma one develops this passion out of yog one develops gyan spiritual enlightenment and gyan na moksha prad virva khana gyan is what according to the holy scriptures free us from bondage takes us to the point of non duality moksha so this is the importance of father in our lives fathers have to understand their responsibilities also to have strength in the children's lives but also gyan the right type of spiritual enlightenment the children depend upon the father and this is what father is supposed to be but of course we know in society many fall away from that duty of theirs but if you really develop this gyan then father is with you for all times if you have satyam you have gyan you have parents for you with you for all times dharma bhrata one's dharma is one's brother now one would expect one's brother to stand by one side as a strong pillar of support 
I can depend upon you, etc. This is what it's supposed to be. Here we speak of idealism. Whether it is so or not, doesn't deny the truth of what it's supposed to be. So I'm establishing what it is supposed to be. If it is not like that, it is not a failing of the principle, it is a failing of the human being. So dharma bharata. I said earlier on dharma te virati. Out of dharma one develops this passion. So if you can put the picture together, you'll understand what I'm speaking about. That if you have that dharma inside of you, that's like a brother, dispassionate and all other wonderful qualities to lend the support. I have that prop upon which I can lean. Daya Sakha, my friend, who is my friend? Daya, compassion. Now, we can tie in Dharma Bharata and Daya Sakha. Daya Dharma ki mool hai. Daya is the root of Dharma. All these things are intertwined. Compassion is the root of all virtues. And uh, if I have that daya with me, it's a friend that it is not a parasitic relationship, as most relationships are in society today. People relate, they say friend, 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 only when they want something. When they get it, it's no longer a friend. As Ramayana has put it like a flash of lightning. It's there only for a moment, then there is darkness again. So that association of parasitic type nature, only when there is need, and then that's it. But when you have her daya, that daya, that friend doesn't desert you. That friend helps you. And as the saying goes, true friends are like diamonds, precious and very, very rare. False friends are like pebbles found everywhere. So that if you have daya, it's a true friend. A true friend. It stands by your side for all times. It is the root of all noble virtues. You become a virtuous person. No disappointment. No disappointment whatsoever. As opposed to the normal type of friendship that we normally have. Where today is a friend, tomorrow is an enemy. Today, they smile with you. Later, the very same day, they stab you in the back and they call that friendship. If you have daya, you have a friend. And a friend who will stand by your side for all times. Shanti Patni. Now, one's consort, and in this case, a Patni, the wife. They said one's wife is peace. Shanti Patni. And many could testify that you have your shanti, or I should say you have your patni, but you don't have shanti. You understand what I mean? Your wife is there, but you can find no peace. But if you have shanti, and I don't mean a girl named shanti, shanti means peace. If you have peace with you, then that is a consort that supports you for all times, helps you to really discover yourself, and think about what peace means to us. Think about it. Think about it. So, Shanti Patni, peace is one's consort. And Chama Putro, forbearance or forgiveness is one's son. You may not have a son, but if you have Chama, that is a son that doesn't disappoint you. Sons can be categorized into two classes, saput and kaput. Saput means a good son, kaput means the opposite. If you have chama, that will be equivalent to a saput, a good son who, whatever we do, he elevates, he goes beyond, he builds on that, takes our name, the lineage to a higher level. That is his saput. The kaput, Whatever we have done, he comes, as Ramayan says, like a wrong side breeze. Dark clouds accumulating, farmers expecting water for his crops. Wrong side breeze scatter everything. 
everything is destroyed. That is the advent of a kaput, a bad son, who is self-centered, arrogant, egoistic, destructive. He destroys the family name, the family inheritance, everything he destroys it, total opposite. You run the risk once you have a son of him being either a saput or a kaput. But if you have chama, forbearance, there can never be a kaput. He will always be saput. Forbearance, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a very key quality devotees. Forgiveness, I've always tried to explain, really benefits the person who forgives. So if I hurt you, and you say, okay, Pandit, I forgive you. What it means is that you have dropped whatever baggage, whatever animosity, whatever negativities you have in your mind for me. It means that it frees you from baggage. But does that forgiveness free me from baggage? I, the perpetrator of whatever negativity that have affected you? And I tell you, no, it doesn't free me. This is why I say, forgiveness is for the person who forgives. Because the person who perpetrated the negativity, jaisa karni vaisa bharni, you have to reap the consequences of your actions. So the key here is that I do not worry about who does what to me. But I have control over myself. And I say, I forgive you. I drop that baggage. I don't carry that pain in, in me anymore. It means I am free. I am free from that bondage. And this is what a son is supposed to do in our lives. Help us along this way. Not to aggravate us. This is his support. To build up, to take us to greater levels, to higher levels of spirituality, etc. Good name, respect, dignity, integrity. Maintain it, lift it up. Not to drag it down. Chama putro. And as I mentioned, we do not speak too much of the daughters. But you know, experience in life has shown. And somebody put it very nicely to me one time. They say, Baba, simply put it, son until wife, daughter for life. It is the experience of so many that the daughters, they behave in such a way they carry such a wonderful relationship with their parents for life. But the sons, many times, from the time they get wife, that is it. So son till wife, he's a son only till he gets a wife, but his daughter remains daughter for life. I don't know how true it is, eh? But what we know, what scriptures tell us, that the son, the support, he is the one who carries on the family lineage. He is the one who is supposed to lift us up and keep the journey going. So this is why it's stated, you know, Chama Putro. Devotees, time and again you'll realize that we have down moments, depressed moments. We lose these key relationships in life. But if you can develop, if you can inculcate within yourselves these six qualities, you're never alone. You will never be alone. And the quality of life will be of a very high standard. As opposed to, from experience we know, when you have these physical relationships, all the negativities that go with these. Too many of us are dependent upon others for our happiness. But remember this, if you can develop these qualities, then everything is within. And indeed, everything is within. We can find the ultimate joy, ultimate feelings of peace, etc by developing these qualities. So remember, Satya Mata Pita Gyanam, Dharma Bhrata Daya Sakha, Shanti Patni Chama Putro, Kadeti Mama Bandhava. These are my six relationships. And the ultimate relationship in all devotees is what? Who? None other than the Lord himself. For he is the essence of all these put together. So as I inculcate in myself these qualities, I also make sure I invite into my life that divine. For once he's here, these six qualities will automatically come. So no matter what, 
We have to make that effort, develop these qualities, but relentlessly pursue divinity. Oh, Ram, 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 Kuli. Oh, Ram, 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 Kuli. Ram, 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 Kuli. Ram, Kuli, Ram, Kuli. Ram, Kuli, Ram, Kuli. Hey, Ram, Kuli. Ram 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 Kuli 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 Ram 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 Nand Ram 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 Nand Ram 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 Nand Ram 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 Nand Ram 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 Nand Ram 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 Kuli Ram 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 Kuli Ram Kuli Ram Ram Bolle, Ram Bolle, Ram Bolle, Ram Bolle, Ram Bolle, Ram Bolle, Ram 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 Bolle. Ram 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 Param Ram 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 Sukhadama Ram 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 Sukhadama He Ram 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 Mamadhama 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 Ram 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 Om Jai Swaha Mata Maya Jai Swaha Mata Tum Agni Ki Shakti Tum Agni Ki Shakti Tum Sachi Mata